Barring injury, one name guaranteed to be teeing it up in Rio this August will be Germany's number one female golfer, Sandra Gall. Something for which she's grateful and excited in equal measure. I think uh, it takes a bit of luck too to be born to a country where, you know, you, I don't have to uh, fight my way through a bunch of players to, to get qualified, but obviously, you know, um, it's, it's a big honor to be, to be part of the team. Joining Sandra at the Olympics will be her German teammate Caroline Masson, although the competition itself is a strictly solo affair. We go there together, but it's an individual sport, so we both will try to do our best, and we can't win a medal for Germany together, so it's basically we'll be staying at the same place, and we'll have a couple coaches from the Federation, and uh, I'm sure we have tons of dinners together, and we'll support each other, but uh, we'll still play for you know our own. Whilst personal glory may beckon, Sandra's also well aware of the impact a sports inclusion at the Games can have on increasing participation. I personally love watching the Olympics and watching any kind of sport. Even though golf wasn't there, it was just watching athletes compete at the highest level and only get that one chance in every four years is very special. And um, I hope that young kids will see this as an opportunity to get into golf and hope they get a little more interested, especially in Germany. It's now five years since Sandra recorded her only LPGA Tour win to date at the 2011 Kia Classic, birdieing the last to win by a single shot. Unfortunately, it's a performance she hasn't been able to replicate since. It is a little frustrating. Um, I would have hoped I had another win, definitely, since 2011. But I always feel like things happen for a reason, and um, I do feel that I've gotten better every year since my win. And um, so I just got to be patient. There's a lot of competition and a lot of young girls coming on, uh, as you might have noticed. <laughs> so a lot of girls that are under their under 20 years old that are coming on, and they're really, really good um, straight out of the gate. Certainly, there's some rookies that come out with no fear, and they have been very successful in the junior days. Um, but that's, that's their path, you know, mine is different. I, I feel like I've learned so much even on a personal level from golf that no one can take away from me and, that, and you can't measure that with wins. And while the LPGA's millennials dominate the current tour, Sandra admires a player from another generation, Lorena Ochoa. I thought she's, you know, she was number one in the world and she was, she's an incredible, has, has incredible sportsmanship. I thought that she was one of those people that was number one in the world with a lot of grace and dignity and, and still being humble. And finally, from a world number one to the average Joe, what's the best piece of advice Germany's top-ranked player can offer all the weekend golfers out there? Work on your short game. <laughs> I think I understand. People don't have a lot of time, so they go hit some balls and go and play and then they're very frustrated with their scores. So I think they should just spend a little bit more time on their short game and their feel, and they would do, they would save so many strokes. <laughs>